Hey everyone, it's your friend Pink Mills, and I am about to leave my apartment to head uptown so I can be one of the very first people in the world to try out Nintendo Labo. Now, if you don't know what it is, uh, check the description for a link to the video where I reacted to this video, the first look at Nintendo Labo, and I'll just throw it on the background there, but uh, basically it is a way to build your own peripherals for your Nintendo Switch with like a fishing pole, a piano, like this house looking thing, like a motorcycle, like a robot, all these really, really cool things that you build yourself like that from the cardboard right there. See, pop it right out. So Nintendo is releasing this in April, but they have given a few people invites to come and check it out at their New York City studio. So I better get going before I'm late and they lock the doors. First, snacks. Second, before you comment, this is not my wife. So this is the Nintendo Labo software, and it shows you how to build everything. You saw him do it really quickly there, but you can slow it down. You can manipulate it in any orientation you want. And boom, there's our RC car, which kind of looks like an RC bug to me. And as you can see, she's driving it around with the Nintendo Switch console. Now, there was another feature that kind of freaked me out because... You see it following his hand there? No one is touching the controls and that thing is following his hand. It's following my hand here as well. And I wondered how Nintendo managed to do that. And um, it's actually something I didn't realize about my Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons and you may not even realize about your own Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons, which they showed us here. If you look closely on the Switch, there is a heat map there. That's an infrared heat map because there are infrared cameras on the Nintendo Switch Joy-Con Plus console. The one the Plus, you'll see it. It's a little shiny bit and it follows these infrared sensors as well in addition to the heat signatures in your hands. So I got back to my table and looked at our little RC car and you can see me there in the <laughs> infrared camera. So as soon as I got home, I flipped all of mine around so that I made sure that my Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons weren't watching me anymore. Now that infrared camera is essential to Nintendo Labo, especially on the piano, where you can see all of the infrared reflectors on each key. And the Joy-Con detects which key is being pressed and plays the appropriate note. Now you can also play around with these two on one console and we are sort of wrestling with our Nintendo Labo RC cars and seeing who can push the other one up and I lose. I lost, I lost guys. Then they give us the fishing pole and they told us, we're gonna give you guys an hour, but most of you won't finish. And I was like, Psh, right, it's cardboard. How difficult can this be? Now it isn't difficult per se, but it is time consuming. And it took us, two adults, 49 minutes to build the fishing rod. And we barely finished with enough time to try it out. And I was really impressed. The entire build is with uh, cardboard, plastic grommets, and rubber bands. There's no glue, there's no tape. It all works together really, really well. And it even feels like a fishing pole. I mean, you get, uh, you get resistance on the line, it goes up and down, it clicks the reel, it moves back and forth. It is absolutely amazing. 
After we barely finished, they brought us into a room where all the toy cons were pre-built and there were a bunch of them that we could all try. Uh, so I tried the fishing rod first, as you can see here, I'm about to, yeah, nailed it! There we go, I set the hook, and then I spent quite a bit of time <laughs> reeling it all the way to the top, and I caught a .8 meter fish, which probably isn't the biggest fish in the world, but it was super fun and I was excited. Then I got to try the motorbike toy con, and uh, it took a little while to get the hang of. It is kind of like Mario Kart with the game mechanics, but uh, I found that it was easier if you lean right and left rather than turn it left to right, turn the handlebars. It, it was cooler if, or it worked better around turns if you leaned. Look, well, <laughs> all right, go, go, go. Uh, I went straight off the map there. There's turbo boosts, and um, you can change. There's Grand Prix. You can change how many CCs you want the I think there was beginning intermediate and advanced tracks and uh, it actually was uh, was fairly challenging and really responsive I was surprised by how responsive it was so here's what's in the robot kit uh, and it has a backpack a visor foot controls and hand controls and it is a through R I can't imagine how long this would take to build because the fishing rod was just A through F and the variety kit has the fishing rod, the motorbike, the house, the piano, and the RC cars all in one. So here they showed us a few examples of what you can do to customize your Nintendo Labo. It's still fully functional and they look really, really cool. So after this, they had one more thing to show us that isn't quite announced. <gasps> yes! Yes, I knew it. I knew I could find something. Okay, guys, so <laughs> you guys might be like, what? This part where they make the guy fall down and seems kind of boring, right? Or actually seems like a mistake. It actually isn't. That is almost like an Easter egg in this video because they showed us something at the very end of the presentation that they made us turn off all of our cameras, no videos, no photos. They told us a bunch of things that we are allowed to tell you guys, but we weren't allowed to video or take pictures of any of it. And that is what they call the Toy-Con Garage, which was a super big surprise to me and really interesting because, and, and it's it's right here and this, this is probably the most basic implementation of it possible. But the Toy-Con Garage is where you can program your Switch and your Joy-Cons uh, and even the Toy Cons themselves as input and output devices, almost like a visual programming language. So what this person has done here is they've programmed this thing to say, if I touch this button on my Nintendo Switch, then vibrate the red Joy Con, which is exactly what happens. So he presses it, vibrates it, and makes the the Stick Man that they built themselves not 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 created by Nintendo, it makes them fall down. So they made a little bit more complicated program, but altogether still simple. Uh, so what they did is they took two of the toy cons, the RC toy con and the motorcycle toy con, and they said if the motorcycle turns left, vibrate the right toy con. This is going to get confusing, but vibrate the right toy con in the RC car. If it turns right, then vibrate the left one, which would make it turn right and left. And it said, if you turn the accelerator on the motorbike, then uh, vibrate both at the same time, which would make it go forward. So they interfaced the motorbike toy con with the RC toy con. And you can do this with all of them together. It was really, really cool to see that. And not only that, they had another one where they put guitar strings on their switch and program them to play certain sounds like a distorted electric guitar. Then they built their own electric guitar out of cardboard, cut it out of cardboard. They'd done this before. Uh, not, they didn't do all the cutting while we were there and just stuck the switch to it and you could walk around like you're playing a guitar and making all this awesome music. So uh, this was a really unexpected feature and when you're done building all the toy cons and playing with all the toy cons, you can mash them together with whatever you guys can come up with. So guys, I was obviously blown away by Nintendo Labo. It, I just want to thank Nintendo for the experience that they put on. I mean, the whole thing was really, really well done. A uh, real strong introduction to the product. Uh, I can't wait to get my variety kit. You know, the robot kit is cool, but if I had to choose one or the other, I would definitely choose the variety kit because there are five different Toy-Cons with different games. 
and the robot seemed a little bit limited in that respect and also with the five different toy cons with the toy con garage you can make them interface together and do all kinds of different things and these things i see here i did not see at the event so these might be future nintendo labo packs sort of stuck in here with easter eggs like the toy con garage didn't see that either didn't see any of it so guys if you guys are excited to see me get my own nintendo labo put the things together in future videos go ahead and pick up those chopsticks and i'll poke that like button as hard as you can also don't forget to follow me on instagram and twitter and please do become a noodler today and subscribe i'll see you guys again soon thanks for watching and of course new line